I am Commander Kulbushan Sudhir Jadav, number 4155 Zulu of the Com Indian Navy. I am a commissioned officer in the Indian Navy and uh, my alias name was Hussain Mubarak Patel and I was basically, I had visited uh, Karachi on two occasions in 2005 and 2006 for basic uh, intelligence gathering on naval installations and subsequent detailed basically gathering and information on the landing sites around Karachi and uh, various naval vessels or whatever I could gather about the Navy. The raw officials that started sniffing that the Modi government will be in power by 2014. So I was inducted and my services were handed over to research and analysis wing and the aim was to see that all the activities along the Makran coast and Karachi and Baluchistan interior, Turbat and Quetta were to be organized and nicely coordinated. Subsequently, me along with Anil Kumar had a meeting with Alok Joshi wherein the plans and the finalization of activities along the Makran coast and Karachi were finalized. I was stationed in Chabar, the Iranian port city under a fictitious name Hussain Mubarak Patel and I was running a business there, Kanmida Trading Company. It was a discreet non-embassy based operation exclusively meant to conduct meetings with Baloch insurgents and terrorists. The aim of these meetings was always to see that the aims and the targets of RAW to conduct the various terrorist activities within Baluchistan are conveyed properly to the insurgents and any kinds of requirements of them are conveyed back to the RAW officials. My purpose of this time visit to Pakistan was to establish and meet the basic leadership of Baluch subnationals, the BLA or the BRA, and establish and infiltrate around 30 to 40 raw operatives along the Makran coast for operations along with Baluch subnationals and miscreants or terrorists. The aim was to have raw operatives on field so that they could facilitate and help the Baluch subnationals in carrying out precision targets to be carried out. Precision. I would say a sort of a military sort of a connection to the entire operation because Baluchistan doesn't have a movement on the sea. So the aim was to raise within the Baloch subnationals a sea front so that the activities could be properly coordinated from the seaside and subsequently taken on further words, inwards towards maybe Quetta or Turbat or maybe interiors of various places. The subsequent activities which were then handed over by RAW when I subsequently started working for research and analysis wing. The main aim was focused on Baluchistan and the Karachi region. The idea was to see to it that the subnationals within this region were facilitated and supported financially and with arms and ammunition weapons and some kind of maybe men and material movement also across the coast. So me being a naval officer I was given the task of seeing that how they could be landed across the Makran coast between Gwadar, Jivni or whichever suitable points were there across this belt. And the main ideology beyond this was that the economic and the various activities which go along the CPEC region between Gwadar and China had to be distorted and disrupted and some destabilized so that the aim was to just basically raise a level of insurgency within Baluchistan and the Karachi region. Research and analysis wing through Mr. Anil Kumar has been financing and sponsoring a lot of activities within Baluchistan and Sindh. The entire Hundi and Hawala operations are undertaken from Delhi and Mumbai via Dubai into Pakistan. And during one such important transaction was the $40,000 which was transferred to Baluch subnationals via Dubai. Also the finances which are coming into Baluchistan and Sindh for various anti-national activities are coming through consulates in Jalalabad and Kandahar and the consulate in Zahedan. These are very important uh, consulates which are used by research and analysis wing to transfer dollars into the Baluchistan movement. And uh, one such instance was where I was directly involved and I was observing the transaction was when $40,000 were recently transferred from uh, India via Dubai to one such Baloch national operative within Pakistan. 
Research and Analysis Wing and Mr. Anil Kumar on behalf of RAW had been sponsoring regularly the various terrorist activities within Pakistan, especially Hazara Muslims, the Shia Muslims who move around on pilgrimage between Iran, Afghanistan and Pakistan were basically to be targeted and killed. They were already being done. It was being done, but the level had to be raised to a very high level so that the movement completely stops. Then the targets on various workers of FWO who are conducting construction of various roads within Balochistan. And the third major activity was the ID attacks which were being carried out by Baloch subnationals within Quetta, Turbat or various other cities of Balochistan. They were being directly sponsored by RAW. Mr. Anil Kumar has been sponsoring sectarian violence across Sindh and Balochistan and also sponsoring various assassinations across this same region so that instability or some kind of fear is set into the mindsets of the people of Pakistan. And in one such process, SSP Chaudhary was assassinated. This was a direct mention by Mr. Anil Kumar to me. The various financing which subsequently happened for the TTP and uh, various other Afghan anti-Pakistani terrorist groups led to the attack by TTP on one of the Mehran naval bases in which a lot of damage was caused to the Pakistani Navy. Other sort of radar installation attacks, the Sui pipeline gas attack, then attacks on civilian bus stations where some I suppose Pakistani nationals were being targeted by sub, uh, sub-nationals and m murdered and massacred. So that a sort of a disruption in the CPEC is done. That was being funded and directly supported by Mr. Anil Kumar. He wanted it to be raised to a next level so that complete disruption and complete stoppage of the economic corridor between Gwadar and China is achieved. One of the operations which was being planned by raw officials along with Baloch insurgents was a military style attack on the Zaidan Pakistani consulate. The aim was to either attack it with a grenade or some kind of RPG or IED attack or then try to harm the consulate general or some kind of a vicious attack on the Pakistani consulate in Zaidan. It was being militarily planned. The raw officials were involved in Iran and the Baloch sub-nationals who were supposed to carry out the attack or facilitate the entire process were being involved and I was well aware of the plan which was being conducted and how it was being planned. RAW was sponsoring the setting up of the modern website, a new website which was being already run through Nepal which the Balochistan movement was carrying on, on the cyber world and the creation of a website, the previous maintenance of the already existing website was being handled by research and analysis wing from Nepal Kathmandu which was luring people from within Pakistan for various activities to be carried out in the future. This time while crossing over into Pakistan I travelled all the way from Chabar in a private taxi along with Rakesh to the Iranian Pakistan border near Sarawan. From wherein I crossed over into Pakistan along with Balu sub-nationals and after uh, about an hour or so, I was apprehended by the Pakistani authorities in Pakistan. Basically, the movement into Pakistan for me was, I was on a visa and official visa in Iran and I was moving with my passport. So I carried my passport with till the border almost so that uh, if Iranian authorities or Iranian people who are about to check me or I am stopped or checked, I should have a legitimate reason for movement within Iran. And my subsequent movement into Pakistan and then backwards, while out, I was I was not intending to have been caught. So in my movement backwards again, I would have had a legitimate reason to go about with that passport, with a legitimate visa in a, of Iran. During my judicial proceedings, which were held under the Field General Court Martial, I was accorded a defense counsel by the officials here which were conducting the entire proceedings. Today I genuinely after the time having spent in Pakistan I feel very ashamed and I genuinely seek pardon of the acts and sins and crimes I have committed here against the nation and the people of Pakistan.